What's up everybody, let's take a look at the volumetric concrete trucks, how they work, why they work, why they're so good, and um, everything about them. This is the Con Expo 2023, so we're going to take a look at several volumetric trucks right here. This first one we're going to take a look at is the Baylinx volumetric truck. This truck's made up in Canada. This one's coming in at the best price point of all of them. They all pretty much do the same thing. They're all pretty much made the same way. You can see the admix tanks. You can add your accelerator. You can slow down. You can speed up how fast you want the concrete to sit up. So we're going to get up top here and I can show you guys how this works. It's got different bends. So each bend holds different material. So your bin on your right is going to hold your sand. The bin on the left is going to hold your aggregate. This bin right here is your Portland cement. And in the front, there's a water tank. So those four ingredients mix together in the auger, and then bam, out pops your concrete. So it holds the same amount as a regular concrete truck. This one holds 10 yards. So you can see the auger there, that it comes down that auger. And the best part about the volumetric trucks, you only mix what you need. You, if you need one yard, you can mix one yard. You can drive five hours away and you can mix two yards. You can drive 10 hours away, you can mix another yard. But it holds all those ingredients um, on it. You can actually overload these things so they're too heavy and you could probably do 12, 13 yards. The best part about uh, these, they're super light. They have by far the lightest weight ones there. You can see the auger there where the concrete mixes. So when it comes down this belt, it's dry ingredients. Mixes with the cement powder, mixes with the water, and then it goes through the auger here, and then out pops that concrete. And that concrete is very fresh when it comes out. Man? How are you? You can see that you can control everything here: 4,000 psi, uh, 3,000 psi, um, you know, anything you want. The biggest thing about these trucks is you need to be able to hold your powder. This right here is a cement pig. It holds 192 tons of powder, which is going to be able to make you in the ballpark of. 800 yards of concrete once that thing's full. So this one right here is one of the Holcomb mixers. Uh, they actually had a very good paint job on this particular one. So this volumetric mixer does a hundred yards per hour. So it can't hold a hundred yards on it, but it can mix that much concrete. So there's a thing called continuous feed. So as long as you can continue to feed, you know, the sand, the aggregate, the powder, and the water, if you can continually feed it, it can produce 100 yards of concrete per hour, which is pretty impressive. A lot of the concrete batching plants are doing 160, maybe 300 yards an hour. It's hard to keep up at that rate, and this can do 100, so that's pretty cool. So if you land a job that's, um, let's say, 1,000 yards, you could bring this one truck out there and this one volumetric truck can pour that entire thousand yards. You'll just have to keep bringing in tankers of cement powder, keep loading uh, the bins with aggregate, keep loading the bins with um, um, sand and keep the water tank full. So, And it can do everything pretty much a normal concrete truck does. The good thing is there's no hot loads. You're not going to get a load that's been sitting in a ready-mix truck for two hours it's going to set up super fast on you. As soon as you cool push the button, ben. it comes wow, out right then. And it can do everything that a normal one does. It's got a fiber chopper. You can add fiber. Um, this particular one's got two sectors. You can have fly ash and a Portland cement. So fly ash is a um, material that's used to bring down the cost because it does what uh, Portland cement does. It's just much cheaper. Um, it's not a full alternative, so you have to mix it about 80-20 but it does bring down the cost of your concrete. Uh, typically, if you're buying concrete, uh, let's say you buy bags of cement powder from Lowe's, you're gonna be able to make concrete for about $130 a yard. If you can get good pricing on powder, that's really what it comes down to, you can make concrete for 100 bucks a yard. I'm sure some of the big guys are probably making it for 60, 70, 80 bucks a yard. So you can really bring down your prices. Um, it's pretty cool. Each one of these units are a little bit different. The one you see on the left that goes all the way up to the top of the big, uh, that holds the color. So if you're doing decorative concrete, you can do your color there. At the very end here, uh, we're coming up on it, we're going to do a demo. And we're going to show this thing actually live in action. This was out of, Holcomb didn't have like a very big booth there. They brought one truck, but they did have a very good paint job on the one truck they had. So. I'm a little bit 
partial to Bay Links and uh, Cement Tech, but um, I think they all make a really good product, and it's really just about how, if you want one, how quickly you can get it. But before you buy one, I want to I, I stress make sure you can get cement powder. Uh, that's a tough market to get into. So right here we are going to do a demo. Um, we see Taylor on the mic here. I'm going to let him take over for just a second. Great guy. Water out of your mix on the fly. You can also add water on the fly by simply touching the buttons on the control panel to either go up a gallon or down a gallon or a tenth of a gallon down a tenth of a gallon. So you'll see a change that came out a little bit dry, so now we're uh, rocking and rolling. We took a, we added a little bit of water to that mix, and there you go. Another great advantage of these is you have crews standing around waiting for concrete for two, three, four hours at a time. Well, when this shows up, it's ready to pour, you have 30 seconds, you have mud on the ground in 30 seconds. No more hot load, no more short load fee. If you need a quarter of a yard, if you needed a half of a yard, this unit will do that for you. Rob's coming around with some concrete in his shovel. What I mostly want you to see about that is as our truck produces concrete, all our material is segregated and dry. It drops into the bottom, drops into the bottom of our mixer, and in nine feet, 10 seconds, it is completely mixed. It is completely as you can see, it's very similar to a normal ready mix truck. You can see that concrete consistency. If you wanted a, a lower slump or higher slump, you can add more water. You can see the dry ingredients come down the belt here. That's pretty cool, this visual here. Because then it comes down, it mixes in the auger. You can't see the auger because it's covered up, so it wasn't splashing all over the place. But you can see that this is this is very similar to a normal ready mix truck. Um, these trucks, you know, they're going to range from probably three hundred and sixty thousand dollars to a truck to probably four hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. I'm going to let Taylor talk about the washout process here. So what it's going to do, an auto washout. So what it's going to do is going to dump ten gallons of water into that mixing auger. It's going to cycle back and forth. From there, well, you're going to run, simply run out your auger and you're eliminating all of your waste. That auger is nine foot long. It holds roughly a quarter of a yard. So when your operators get experienced enough, they will simply stop that mixer at a quarter of a yard short. They'll run out their auger without dumping any material in there and then run that auto washout system. And we've got guys that can wash out in a 10 gallon bucket or two 10 gallon buckets. fresh concrete on site. Since everything is in a different bin in separate containers, you could drive three hours, five hours, seven hours away and put mud on the ground. So no more hot load or any short load fees. There's quite a few Smith Tech employees standing around, so uh, please raise your hand, uh, Smith Tech. Stay around. We'll continue to watch this for just a little bit, but I posted a lot of content about the Con Expo 2023. I'm posting another video about uh, volumetric trucks. Um, Mikkel with Baylinx uh, does a uh, demo, so we're gonna check that one out in another video, so feel free to look at that at the end of this. It'll probably recommend it to you. Um, if you're interested in other stuff from the Con Expo or the world of concrete, I post a lot of content about that, so feel free to check them out. Um, if you order one of these trucks from Cement Tech, talk to Taylor, great guy. He'll get you squared away. Um, they definitely know their stuff around there. Um, if you could subscribe to my channel, that would be amazing. I have, I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. I got like four, 950 right now. I need another 50. I got over 150,000 on um, TikTok though. So if you want to check me out over there, I got a lot more content, a lot of short form content there. So it's pretty good. Uh, feel free to take a look at that, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Perfect.